we're asked to find the derivative function for each given function. First, we have f of x equals sine of two natural log x. First, notice how we do have a composite function where the inner function, which is often referred to as u, is two natural log x. So if the inner function u is equal to two natural log x, we know we need to determine u prime when applying the chain rule where u prime is the derivative of two natural log x with respect to x, and therefore u prime is equal to two times the derivative of natural log x with respect to x, which is one divided by x, giving us u prime equals two divided by x. So again, now we can just think of the original function as f of x equals sine u, and the derivative of sine u with respect to x is equal to cosine u times u prime, and therefore f prime of x is equal to cosine of u, which is two natural log x, times u prime, which is two divided by x. Simplifying, we have f prime of x equals two cosine of two natural log x, all divided by x. For our second example, we have g of x equals cosine of negative three natural log x. So again, we have a composite function where the inner function u is negative three natural log x. So if we have u equals negative three natural log x, then u prime is equal to the derivative of negative three natural log x, which is negative three times one divided by x, or negative three divided by x. So again, now we can think of the original function, g of x, as just g of x equals cosine u, and the derivative of cosine u with respect to x is equal to negative sine u times u prime, giving us g prime of x equals negative sine of u, which is negative three natural log x, times u prime, which is negative three divided by x. Simplifying, we have g prime of x equals we have a negative times a negative, and therefore the result is positive three sine of negative three natural log x, all divided by x. I hope you found this helpful.